This video started out to just be a review of this um, high boost travel 4G RV cell booster. But we decided to test it under some uh, pretty difficult uh, circumstances and it ended up being a real learning experience for us. We almost gave up on it a couple of times, but in the end, if you watch to the end of the video, you'll see how we not only made it work, but made it to made it work beyond our expectations. Watch till the end. Linda and I spend so much time off grid and out of you know on the fringes of cell service. We spend a lot of time looking for a cell signal, either to make a phone call or to upload a video. <laughs> And it's no different where we're at today. So today we've got this high boost cell boost uh, cell booster, and uh, this is the model C twenty seven five S R V high boost travel cell phone booster for RVs anyway. And this was sent by them by high boost to us to give it a shot to try it out. And we're going to do that because we're in an area where we need it. Yep. Stick around for this one. Normally when we've been up here at the property and when we're off grid in many, many places, like when we're traveling, lately for the last year we've been using a Garmin inReach. And this is basically for emergency purposes, but we can send and receive texts. Now with the plan that Linda and I have with this Garmin, we get 10 free texts a month. And after that, they're 50 cents each, incoming and outgoing. You pay for each. So we use this out here. But when we need to send a cell phone uh, text from here, it's really hard to do. You can only put the camera in one place, place, which happens to be in the window behind the camera here. And it's a space that's, if you go beyond that space, you don't get it. <laughs> it doesn't work if we walk outside. It only works from that space in the window. If I'm standing around the car, I can't send a text. For sure can't make a phone call. And the text has to be like one or two sentences. If you do three sentences, it may not go. <laughs> For sure. And certainly no, no photos. Definitely no photos. So this high boost, uh, when they offered it to me, they offered it to us because of the, our travels. But I said, we've got a place to test that out. So let me tell you what I'm expecting here. I'm expecting to send a text more easily without having to set the phone in the window and wait and... And also the uh, cell signal comes and goes. Yeah, the cell signal comes and goes. Uh, sometimes we have one small bar. Now, out of fairness to the company, Highboost, they say you've got to have one bar. One bar. Yeah. One bar of 4G. So what? here's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to see two bars. I'm expecting it to be able to send texts easily back and forth without having to wait for them to go. Because right now you hit go, you hit send, and you watch the little wheel spin around for quite a while. If I was able to send a phone call here, I would be very pleased and amazed. Anyways, I want to start testing it out. Here's the thing. I haven't start, started taking things out of the box. This will be a voyage of discovery for me yeah, and you. To begin with, there is an app that you need to down, download. What was it called, Linda? It's You look up High Boost on the Play Store and you can download the app into your phone. So I've already done that. Here's the instructions. Uh, Linda, would you get those instructions? I, I'm going to screw this up and I'm going to need those later. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here's what's in the box. I did look up some of this stuff, what it was. This is the indoor router, okay? And it's got a cable attached to it. That router hooks up to the um, indoor modem here, okay? You can either plug this into USB for power or, or plug, that's how it does get its power or because this is the RV model or and here's the cigarette lighter adapter for it. It comes with that. Oh, this is a sticky for that probably. Yeah, there's a sticky pad for mounting this antenna in your RV. Okay. 
Now we're going to lift this tray out. We or me? Me. I mean you. Okay. Underneath here we have the exterior antenna. We have mounting brackets for that antenna. And, um, oh, here is a, in case you don't want to plug this um, modem into uh, to a USB port, here's a 110 adapter to power it. So it does come with that. And that is cable. Looks like maybe 20 feet or so, 25 feet of cable that goes from the antenna, comes into your RV to the uh, modem here, or the, wow. yeah, the boost, uh, high boost unit. So I'm going to start putting this stuff together and see what happens. I brought a 12 foot pole to mount this on and I'm going to hook this to the back of the trailer. All right, I'll get on it. I'm going to be mounting it to this uh, six foot uh, painter's pole that extends out to 12 feet. And the only thing you need to do this installation is um, a small wrench like this small crescent wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. There's no wires to cut and splice or anything. It's pretty much just ready to go. That might be right. Is it right, Linda? Kind of looks like it. All I have to do now is hook the wire to this, and uh, right there, and run the wire inside. That'll give us a good start here. Okay, this is just temporary. Now that's an omnidirectional antenna, and we're going to go ahead and run that cable through the window. All right, thanks. Right there underneath that red cap is where the indoor antenna connects. On the other side, this is where the outdoor antenna comes in. This, uh, your, your 12 volt off of your USB is actually this barrel connector and it also has your AC adapter which is also a barrel connector and it plugs right in here. I've got three blue lights now. The middle blue light is blinking. I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to get the instructions out. Where did I throw them? Well, we're not having any luck setting this up. We downloaded the uh, app from the Play Store before we came out here, but it looks like we have to have cell signal to set this up. We need to have data. So this has to be done before you drive an hour to your off-grid property to try this out. So we're going to be taking it back to town and setting it up and then bringing it out here again and trying it again. To be continued. Okay, it's the next day. I had to come home and uh, set up the, the, um, the app itself because I needed to have data to do that. And just to, just to get that, that part set up, you don't need to have the app for your cell phone to work. Once you've got that signal, any, any cell phone that's in the vicinity of that signal is going to get an improved um, reception. So uh, I've, I finished that and uh, got the initial thing set up and now it's working fine. I'm home. Let me show you what I did first. This is just to test it out. Uh, the, the signal here is so strong. I've got five bars anyway, but I put the antenna over there on the fence, ran the wire into the trailer. Now in here, the trailer being all metal is kind of like a Faraday cage and it cuts the signal down. That was the only way I could see if I had an improved signal or not. I looked at so many videos last night after I got home. I don't usually watch review videos on something before I do a review. I don't want to be influenced by anybody, but I did need to kind of learn more about the setup. No one talked about the app. They just said, oh, you need to download the app. Well, you need to download the app. And for example, it asks for the device name. Well, I don't know. It's like, ask the booster, what's your name? Is it George? You know, <laughs> when they ask for the device name, they want to know you put in the serial number of your unit. That's what it means. And then it wants to know your exact location, which was, seems kind of weird because this is for an RV where you're 
where your location is changing constantly. But I went in and put in my home address and you can use um, your Google Maps. It's got that in there and you can move the pin over to your exact location and you give them that. Other than that, the setup was very easy and there's tools in there in the app to show you what kind of signal strength you're getting. Now it does say that it's an omnidirectional antenna. So when you get to your camp spot or your destination or wherever you are, um, it helps if you take your phone with you and look at the graph and go ahead and move the antenna and get the strongest signal you can. It just seems to help, it did me. Otherwise, it's working, let me show you. I'm using the uh, cigarette lighter plug coming over here to the, uh, to the booster right here. Here's the antenna coming in from outside through the window, just the way I got it set up today. So that's plugged in and the outdoor antenna, something else I got to show you. I got it sitting over here and I didn't see it mentioned, but this has a magnetic base and it's also got two-sided sticky tape that you can use. Watch this, it's on my metal stove. It comes with this two-sided sticky tape that you could mount it inside your RV if you like. And also there's these um, Velcro two-sided sticky tapes that you can use on the booster. So you can mount that booster to the wall somewhere in your RV if you want to using these. Okay, I don't have the plug for the power plugged into this yet because I want to show you the difference. I had to put my phone down on the floor down here to be able to show the difference in the signal. So let's, let's get that set up here. What I do here, this is the app, and I'm just going to push tools down here. And this is a, a signal strength uh, graph here. Now with my other hand, I'm going to reach up here. I'm going to plug in the booster. Hard to do one-handed. Now watch this change. It's reading minus 91 or minus 81. Now it's minus 77. It's in the blue now, which is a good signal. So it, does, it shows an improvement in the signal already. Now, as for my phone, up here in the corner, it went from three bars to five bars. So yeah, it's working. Now the next thing to do is to go back out to the property where I have only one bar and see how good that does us out there. Because like I said, I can only send, I can barely send a text message out there. And it would sure be nice if I could actually make a phone call. So we're headed back out. Come on along. Okay, it's two days later. We're back out at our property. And for us, it's not working. But in fairness to High Boost, it's not High Boost's fault. We've got one bar that comes and goes. That's all we've got. And you need to have like one bar. And we don't really have it here. So it's not going to work out here at our property. But our main goal is to have something that will turn two or three bars into four bars while we're traveling. Four bars and we can upload a video and a lot of little towns we go through only have, th we only get like three. So this will make it so that we can pull in four and be able to do our work. One thing I want to tell you is that this is not a Wi-Fi booster. Don't be confused by that. If you're in a campground or something that has Wi-Fi, this won't help you with that. This is a cell phone signal booster. That's what it does. The main thing the app is good for that I see is to adjust your outdoor antenna for positioning, move it one way back and forth on your trailer or your RV and setting up the indoor antenna so you can get the best signal from it also. Well, about the only improvement we do get here is if we got one bar in the window where we have to set our phones, we'll have one bar all around the trailer. <laughs> so that's an improvement. At least we don't have to you know, stand at the window waiting for a text to go in or out. Okay, this is my, actually my third trip out to the property. And I learned some things about this high boost system that I want to pass on to you. Now, admittedly, I'm in an area where I'm lucky to get one little tiny bar. And that's all I have today. But I learned something about setting the antenna up. The inside antenna, this one, for one thing where it says high boost on both sides, that needs to be facing towards you when you're making a call. But this can't be facing towards the outside antenna. So I've had the antenna set up on either the front of my trailer or the back of my trailer. And either way, both times, coincidentally, I had this, 
I was in the middle, and this was facing the antenna. Oh, am I explaining this correctly? This can't be facing the outdoor antenna or the signal cancels itself out. Also, you have to be at least 12 feet away from that other antenna, which I was, but this can't be pointing at the outside antenna. You got that? Because when I only had one bar of signal, I couldn't get anything, any boost at all. But now from inside my trailer, I can make a phone call. I swear. I got one bar of signal, and when this is on, I can now make a phone call from our off-grid property, and that's a big deal to us. So yeah, now I think the high boost is a winner. It took me a while to learn that, though. It wasn't in the instructions, so I'm telling you now. Hello? Hi. Hi. Well, we can hear you just fine. <laughs> Tell them what you're doing. We're calling you from the cabin. Okay. How are the girls? Oh, oh now Ricky's calling you. Oh, oh answer hey. it. Answer it. Hello? Hello? Hey, sorry, did you mean <clears throat> to call me? Hi, Ricky. It's Tita. We were, were testing the cell phone booster. Oh. And so it works because you just called us back. Good. Yes. Cool. Where are, do you know where we are? Are you guys at the property? Yes, we are out at the property calling you from the cabin. We are like uh, 30, wow. 30 miles out of town. Yep. Oh, fun. Oh, cool. All right. We'll see you later. All right. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Well, it worked out. And it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I wouldn't say this thing was intuitive. Uh, it was kind of difficult to dig out some information on it, but we did. And if you think you're just going to plug it and play, well, that'll work if you already have a somewhat decent signal, a couple of bars. But if you're getting way out there on the fringes, what we just showed you is how to make it work in those circumstances. Just to reiterate here a little bit, this being the omnidirectional outdoor antenna, this being the indoor antenna, this one cannot face this one like this. Got it? This one has to be perpendicular to it, and there's got to be at least 12 feet between these two. That's how we made it work. And we were actually able to make phone calls and receive phone calls. So yeah, this is going to be a handy thing for us to have. Like I mentioned in the video, the main plan was to have something that would boost the signal like when we've got two or three bars to get it up to four bars so we can uh, actually send out or upload YouTube videos while we're traveling. And also we wanted to be able to get phone calls out at our off-grid property and it's working for that. So yeah, I think it's a good buy. Uh, check the video description down below to see if there's any uh, discounts being currently offered on the unit and also to check current pricing. Hope I showed you how to get the most out of your high boost cell phone booster. Hey, see you around.